centrism is good and that's all there is to it. I want to talk about both sides, but here's the thing. I don't want to talk about both sides. I want to talk about the bad argument that is the argument of both sides. Both sides are bad. Both sides are evil. Both sides are guilty. Both sides have something that they are wrong about, bad for, whatever. The both sides argument is a problem. It's a problem because both sides throws out the whole notion that there are two sides. That there's not a multifaceted way of viewing the world. The world is not Democrat versus Republican, left versus right. It is not that simplistic. This is not a matter of black and white. Your enemies aren't all evil. Your friends, your allies are not all good. It is complicated. You can take all Trump supporters, take this group, lump them all together, and say, oh, all Trump supporters are bad because this small subset did a bad thing. You can do this with any group. It, it works perfectly because people don't like to view things as if those things are complicated. Complexity makes it difficult to find a solution to a problem. So how do you make the problem simpler? Well, you don't view things as nuanced, detailed, and multifaceted. You just go, Oh, that side's bad. Oh, and that side's bad too. Oh, both sides are bad. I must be the only good person. That fallacy is what continues this nonsense. See, the problems that we have in the United States do not stem from both sides being bad. They stem from the populace being ignorant and complacent. While you think your side is good, you ignore the bad things they do. While you think the other side is bad, you ignore the good things they do. If you are a proud, happy centrist, then you might have a more nuanced view of things. Or you might just be standing on a third side, saying those two sides are bad and what they do is both really crappy, but centrism is good and that's all there is to it. This is the problem with both sides being bad. There aren't two sides, there aren't even three sides. Every person is an individual. Individuals can come together collectively to achieve certain goals, but ultimately people are individuals. How do you deal with individuals? How do you even deal with groups that aren't as simple as one side, the other side? If there aren't two sides where there's a clearly defined good and evil, what do you do? How do you manage? What do you do to accomplish real change in a political climate like this? It's actually pretty simple. Stop seeing sides. Stop acknowledging sides. Refuse to engage in conversations where there must be sides, where there is judgment packaged with discussion of problems and solutions. The both sides argument is the way that the establishment keeps you from seeing the establishment and knocking them down. While you're busy trying to choke the other side's throat out, you're not tackling individual issues. You're just tackling each other. Meanwhile, a 5,500-page omnibus spending bill gets passed that gives most of our money to foreign countries, prints off a bunch of dollars to do it, diluting whatever buying power you have in money that you already have and in your future earnings, because make no mistake, dear viewer, when they print more currency, it dilutes your paycheck as $15 per hour no longer buys $15 worth of stuff as the price has gone up to 20 it's all bad. And you're killing each other, you're rioting, you're storming buildings, you're acting like fools while the establishment wrings its hands and laughs and gladly implements the policies that you demand when you say, oh, these things are wrong. We demand that the government take more control of things. <laughs> Our pleasure. 
And that's what happens. So stop seeing things as left, right, Democrat, Republican, those bad people over there, us good people over here. And stop jerking your centrist self off too. Your third side is not any better. See things as they are, multifaceted, nuanced, complex, and in need of real work to find solutions. Some of my videos offer some solutions, but unfortunately they haven't gotten much traction yet. So go look at my other videos. Specifically, there is one with three political propositions to create true change that I think you might find interesting. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful day. Peace.